Summer's day in Scarabray Became a wintry night Foes from below blood on the snow Bright crimson on white Ooh. A madman Listen, listen to the bard Hey, this is Bard's Tale 4 My name is Mike B I don't have a name for a show like this I used to, but we're gonna do things a little bit differently I'm just gonna talk about this game for a little bit Because I feel like I need to now, I did get the key from the developers, uh, so thank you for that, devs, for hooking me up, if you managed to watch this. Uh, but yeah, I, re I, I honestly, I really am enjoying the game, but boy does it have fucking problems. Oh my god, does it have issues. Uh, a lot of the issues have been ironed out. First off, there was there was the lack of uh, of an FOV slider, and they put one in, which is superb. They, they, they put one in. It was silly that it wasn't there in the first place. But I'm glad that they jumped on it within the first three days or so. They had a patch out to put it in. Now, what I think is silly is, what does 100% mean? <laughs> I think it was at 33% or something. It was nasty. The FOV was like 40. Uh, and like 40 degrees. <laughs> and I don't, 100, 100% feels like, uh, like 90 or so. It still is not quite as wide as I like. But as somebody who plays a lot of arena shooters, obviously I like that thing to be as about as wide as you possibly can, like fisheye. Uh, so you know that 100%. You'll see as when we get in, 100% uh, might actually be good for you. What 100% means? I don't know. We have no idea. <laughs> it's 100% of the amount that it could actually increase. Sure. Uh, other settings that you have you have available to you is basically all the run of the mill basic stuff. It's all pretty basic stuff. Uh, the one thing that does stand out uh, is. Uh, one grid uh, a head bob, which is a big deal to some. Some people don't don't like the head bob. I like it. I feel like it kind of adds to the momentum of, of a game. Uh, in a dungeon crawler, though, not typically the most exciting action wise because all your action pretty much takes place in a in a tile based setup. Uh, but uh, but for general walking around, I like it personally. Now grid move that's a big thing. If you think classic, if you think classic dungeon crawlers, you're gonna see you're gonna think oh yeah grid move totally right. In this game, it's off by default because most of your walking around is very, very similar to like Skyrim, for example. First person perspective, walking around, exploring, looking around, up and down, looking behind things, can I squeeze through there and all that stuff. You can turn it on, it's a bit janky. Uh, actually, I don't even know how to turn it on now that it's grayed out. And I'm not, I'm not, I, I turned it on once and then I couldn't turn it off. So be, be careful, by the way. Uh, and so I decided just to, I finally figured out how somehow, by combination of like restarting or something, I managed to go ahead and turn it off. And that, uh, and I basically left it off since then. So um, let's see. The, uh, I have the game difficulty on normal now. It goes to hard or easy. I, I tell you right now that uh, normal is pretty easy, but there have been times when I, I have wiped a couple times because I was being uh, a silly or overzealous to stuff like that. Uh, controls this is all pretty pretty straightforward. I mean, it's there's not a whole lot of things you could do here. So, you know, just, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you could play it on a controller too, apparently. Uh, I, I, I don't know why you tried that actually. Don't take a word for it. Let's go and load up a game here and I'll show you guys where I'm at. Uh, you guys are in luck. So first off, you guys probably noticed the flickering on the title screen. Don't worry, it's not you, it's me. Uh, or rather, it's the game. I don't know why it's doing that. It didn't do that. It didn't do that like a couple patches ago, uh, but it does now. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> the game is rough around the edges. The last game, the uh, Bard's Tale 3 was released in like 1988 or something, like basically MS-DOS. Uh, it feels like those same guys got together and were like, hey, let's make a Bard's Tale 4. Put up Kickstarter, get some money work on it for a few years and put it out. But it feels like that was the that was the next game they worked on after Bard's Tale 3 because they're making mistakes that are like super rookie. They didn't put an FOV slider in, okay? These aren't guys that have been making games in the current market. They're they're folks who probably they're they're cl classic game developers that got together, maybe hired a little bit of talent here and there. No, we don't need a what do we need an FOV slider for? Nobody asked for that back in the 80s. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like little things, little quirks, little things that just just like are just missing. And you're like, really? <laughs> Why is that not here? So where I'm gonna plop us down is actually about 30 minutes prior to when I had a crash event. Uh the client actually crashed on me uh while I was streaming, actually. So that was so it was really good, good promotion of the game there. Um, I am not being paid to promote the game, mind you. Uh, they just sent me a key and were like, Hey, we think you might like this. I have no idea how they got the, the email. Just one of each 
shall you bestow? So yeah, that's the talking wall. There's a few of them in here. This is the dungeon aspect of the game. Uh, of the dungeon crawler game. There is a town and an, an encampment and a uh, 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 you know, fellowship and and a pub and all that. Like there's all the different scenes that you would typically find in a uh, in a fantasy, medieval fantasy, whatever you want to call it, uh, a style game like a like Skyrim, for example. All of those things exist in the overworld, right? Being able to walk around uh, and actually explore and talk to people. All that stuff exists. And then you have these puzzle, like these puzzle dungeons. This is my first one actually going through. That's uh, that's a straightforward room for room. There's a puzzle in every room type thing. In this one, this puzzle is. Uh, this is this. Uh, you guys have probably seen this before if you play a lot of these style games, or just basically Sudoku. Apparently, I guess. Uh, but basically, you have to have one, one uh, unique symbol in every row and every column and in every quadrant. So it's not. It's not. It seems at first I was like, oh, this seems like it'd be kind of difficult, you know, because that's a whole lot of things to move around. But then I was like, oh, it's only these colored ones here. The light colored ones are the ones that you move. So it makes it a little bit easier. Otherwise, you really would be here for a while trying to figure out these puzzles. So this is, but this, here's the thing though. The first one I had, uh, actually, no, no, never mind. Scratch that because this was the first one I had and it is easier. That was just by luck though. There's only two in here. So I don't know if later on I'm going to get one that's basically all of them, all 16 of them need to be basically changed because they're all, they're all interactable. I don't know if that's going to happen. But it might. There are also pu puzzles that, and again, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna like give everything away. I'm just showing you guys a few things here because I've already completed them. So you won't see any puzzles completed. You're gonna see the, uh, basically a walkthrough. You can see all the beautiful sights and everything. And then I'm gonna show you guys the, um, uh, the combat because I have, uh, I have an encounter that I need to get to <sighs> because I crashed out of it and I lost my, my position. There's a trap right here. So just so you know. Now over here, this is, uh, kind of, Yeah, so I don't know why he's talking to me. I already completed this puzzle. <laughs> but basically, the way it works is you this in this case you have basically a, a pull lever, and you could just basically move it left or right. And there's another one right. Uh, where's the other one at? I think the other one has two. The other one might have two. Oh no, this was the simple one. This is the simple one. Yeah, yeah. So there's another one that has two of them. And clicking on the left or the right will basically move it wherever you want to move it to. So I'll just leave it there and I can basically cross here. You see what I'm saying? But they'll come like mixed up like all over the place. You have to figure out how to move them and line them up as such. So there are those types. There are these types where you have to figure out how to rotate all these these flame throwing faces uh, on these blocks that turn. You have to figure out how to rotate them uh, in such a manner that you can actually move from one end of this room to the other. I can't do that now because of course my way is blocked by this guy. Now, how do you move these things? Well, you have these totems, and these uh, things that you interact with that will basically move them left or right. So I go like this. There it is. If I hit it again, I will be on fire. So we're gonna go that way. You see? And you have one of these at every station. So, so there's all these varying types of puzzles that exist in the game that we've experienced so far. Hardly any repeats, I guess. The only repeat, but it doesn't really count as a repeat, is this fucking thing. So this is something that you're gonna find. <laughs> you're gonna see this a lot. This is, I think this is kind of like their, uh, one of their pillars in terms of like, okay, yeah, this is the kind of puzzle we want to basically have everywhere. It's a, it's, it's a key. This is a key. And in order to get, in order to get things to interact and do stuff, you have to move this shit all over the place, put these cogs all over and get them to turn certain things in certain directions or stop turning certain things in order for things to function. This one is, uh, is actually set up a way where it's not functioning. So uh, that way I can show you guys all of this, uh, all of this neat stuff. So you're going to see a lot of these things. <laughs> it sucks. Uh, so yes, we've already completed all this stuff. Are you going to talk again? You're not. Okay, cool. I mean, let me see if this works. Oh, I guess they fix it. Is this the right room? Where am I at? Let me see. I could, oh, I could save somewhere around here. That's downstairs. Yeah, it's downstairs. I'm going to try to make my way back up to the fight that I'm supposed to be tending to, which looks like it's upstairs and over to the right. Let's go and do that. And then we cut to a montage of me being lost. Yes, I was actually lost for a lot of this recording. 
<laughs> but it's good because it gives you an opportunity to actually talk a little bit more freely about the textures and everything. There's complaints going on uh, in the forums uh, initially, and so maybe that's been resolved. Because to me, personally, when I look at this, I think the textures look fine. I, they, they look fine to me. I don't know. The game looks fine to me. I don't know what people's expectations are for this. Uh, I know that there was a video release early on in development that looked way better than what you see here. There was a lot of extra things floating around. There was a lot of uh, more, you know, more mystery to the way they design things. A little more crap all over the place. Uh, this feels a little bit more cleared out. Uh, not quite as cluttered with things, which clutter can sometimes add to the, you know, to, to the mood and to the look of the game itself. Uh, but, it, you know, in, in my case, for what we're doing, what we're playing, I felt like this was adequate. Uh, the characters that you interact with that you won't see in this video, uh, but uh, the characters you interact with, they, they could definitely use a little bit of work. They don't, they don't really feel like they, uh, they stand up to um, the actual wall textures, exploration textures and everything. But, um, but yeah, I mean, overall, the game is absolutely, uh, beautiful, I think. <laughs> it's like, it's like when you played Myst, and, you know, Myst was a series of photos. It's like a moving photo. What is that called? I don't know. When you put a bunch of photos together and it moves? God, that's a tough one. But anyways, yeah, it is, it is a remarkable looking game. Now, at some point here, I'm actually going to find my way to where I need to go, and that is right... Okay, so it took me a little bit, but I'm no longer lost. It, there was a side path that I forgot about that unveiled another chunk of the map that I was not aware of because it's a different floor, technically. So, woo. Oh, shit. Let's, Let's show them. <laughs> Let's show them now. Here we go. So, combat. Uh, and also the Days of Enemy by Prodigy. That's what I was listening to before this. So, listen. Combat is as you would expect from a game like this. Uh, it is tile-based, it is position-based. Uh, you do have various types of classes of characters, you know, fighter, you have a, um, a bard, obviously I have a bard. Uh, I have a sorcerer type, I have a rogue, I have all of these things. Uh, I think it's called a conjurer or something, I'm not quite sure. Uh, we're gonna get into the actual menus and all that stuff in a bit with how they function behind the scenes, but I want to show you guys the combat side first, and also all the tells. So they got the jump on me first because I was, I was waiting to re start recording again. Uh, they got the jump on me. Which means they go first. Is it spotted during the encounter dialogue there, if you guys missed it. Uh, so, they are now charging their focused ability, which is the purple there. And the only way to stop that is by doing one of two things. Getting out of the way, which is an obvious one. Or using a mental power in order to break their focus. The focus is represented by the purple there. You see how it's a 4 out of 4. That means I need to be able to do at least 4 mental damage to break him. You can see how this could scale with tougher enemies. Let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and use this one. Seven mental damage to the first enemy in range. I'll take care of this guy here. But I still have another... another. Here he goes. There's uh, five mental damage. Bam. Perfect. We're saved. We're saved for now. Now we still have to defeat these guys. And we have another fight that I'm going to show you guys after this. That's actually a boss fight. So hopefully you guys stick around for that. Because that's when it starts to get crazy. I'll try to explain some things as I go through. Uh, that way you guys can see what it is that I'm doing. So first off, right down here you have uh, four combat points. Basically, opportunity points. Whatever you want to call them. It's four turns. But not everything uses a turn. Something uses spell points. You can see right here these little shards right here on top. These little diamonds. They are uh, spell points. So, for example, she just took her took a turn. I could make she could take another turn if she wants to, but there's nothing that she could really do at this point that would really benefit me more than if she were just to meditate and gain one spell point for the next turn. So I'll do that with her, and then I'm gonna go to the next gentleman here and see if he has anything he could he could you spend he could spend one point. You can see he's blinking there. He could spend a point to do that maybe. Uh, I don't think he really has anything else. He doesn't have a consumable or anything he could do. So let's see if somebody else has it because this is a this is a squad number it's not a per person number uh it's per squad so it's like basically every other uh turn-based uh strategy game you play XCOM, mario rabbits uh, uh valkyria uh chronicles let's see so hmm, a taunt would be a good way to get people uh kind of repositioned for another attack which i could probably do let me see i'll take uh him I'm gonna beat you like it was animal. free you can see is that free so this doesn't cost anything the only thing it costs is basically i can't use it for another two turns so let's see, battle rail, ready, heal, uh, move, not gonna move, and I don't think he has anything. I could have a price out of ground on fire, that might be a bad idea. Or I could go ahead and drink, which is also free. But if I drink, I could drink free, or I could drink uh, Elven Wine, which gives me even more spell points to spend on the next turn, but it'll cost me a point. So the alternative is basically I could light this room on, this area on fire here. That way, 
this haunted character will get damaged by it. So let's do that. We'll do that, and we'll set this ground on fire. Now I'm clicking on all this stuff here. I can't, I'm gonna hotkey some of it. I'm gonna click on some. Hopefully you guys can follow what's going on. It's uh, I'll be walking everybody through it anyway. So you guys, you guys, you guys will get, you'll be fine, you'll be all right. All right, so let's see. Uh, I do have one spell point that I could spend right now, putting a shield on somebody. Since he is the one focused, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. When that shield breaks, it's gonna do, it's gonna do X amount of healing to him, which is useless right now, but just giving him an extra amount of damage that can be done is perfect. Nice, they both pass through the fire. So they're both on fire now, that's awesome. Uh, why is that thing freaking out there? Uh, <laughs> it's embarrassing. Go away, jeez. I think my keyboard's getting old. Uh, so, I have to once again do more mental damage here. I don't know if I necessarily have anybody that's ready to do some mental damage. She is? Okay, so we'll do one. Is he ready to do his? No, he says, he, look, he still has the head knocker ability. He's still on one more, he has okay. one more cooldown here. Uh, but somebody here, yeah. somebody here has a cooldown remover. Oh, reduce all cooldowns to everybody one. Let's do this. Let's take another drink. Yeah. And let's do this. We'll go, uh, boop. Yep. And now his, avail his ability head knocker is available again. So we knock the heads. Kablam. Perfect. We have now thwarted two focus attempts. We've blown some cooldowns, but we we've, uh, we've managed to come out. Uh, unscathed here. Do you see that shield is gone? So I guess he did take some damage. There. Let's see. What does that say? Dwarven resilience, stubborn. Oh, is that the? Uh, it's, no, it's not. That's just because he's a dwarf. That's right. These are very big dwarfs, by the way. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of weird. Let's see. Uh, we can take a chop at this guy. Just do some kind of physical damage. Does somebody else have something better they want to throw out? Let's see. I can meditate again. Make another spell. Spell point might not be a bad idea because then she could bust this out. She could bust this out anyway because she gets another point in the next turn. So never mind. Let's go ahead and take this guy. Here you go. Eight. Eight damage. I need to knock him back. It's a lot of damage for a single singular attack. It really is. Uh, let's do this. We want to make sure we keep that fire going. So we're going to spend one of his spell points here on this gentleman. Put him back into the fire here. Keep him roasty toasty. And then we'll end the turn. <laughs> Look at that. Just on fire. Just constantly. Hypnotic Eye again! Oh man, these guys really, really, really have it out for me. This is going to be a super long fight. As they sometimes are. As they sometimes are. Okay, so listen, we gotta get creative here because I have no more of those. Uh, I have uh, I have this. This will stop one. Which one do I want to stop? Let's stop you. And since I don't, why well, she could cast it again? Because I have been I've been stacking it, so she could cast it again. But I kind of feel like that's a waste right now. Why? Because because I wanna I wanna. Hmm. Let me think. How can I do this? I still need to break that guy. No, we'll save it, we'll save it. Let's go ahead and break him. Let's use Levitate here to put this guy back in the fire just to keep that damage rolling. Actually, what we'll do is we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna grab this dude and put him in the fire here. Is that nice, the synergy you could get? And notice, of all those moves I've done, I've not even spent a single actual point. I still have all my abilities here. Those are all spells, all like reactive stuff. So now let's go ahead and start chopping. We have a cleave here, sweeping slash. Let's go ahead and do that. Do some damage to these dudes right here. Then we can turn around, whip this guy one more time. Let's see what does he got. Uh, is that five physical damage? Let me see. He has a five. Also has a six, actually. Let's do that. Let's go and knock that. There we go. Uh, and then, let's see. He's going to burn to death on the next turn. Let's go ahead and set this one on fire to get some. This guy will get out of that square, trust me. We'll end it right there. Look at these guys. See? Musical chairs. Okay. So, yep. That guy's, uh, that guy's down. Uh, I have two folks out here that uh, are in the background. Uh, one, two, two of them that are actually focusing, sorry. Uh, and so, what's the best way to handle this? Well, she has her Dragon Breath. He also has Dragon Breath, but he does not have the points available for it. So let's go ahead and actually have these two switch. That cost me a point. I'm going to go ahead and cast this here uh, straight ahead. That'll do a significant amount of damage across the board to everybody. This thing's going to die probably before he gets this thing off. Uh, and so I'll go ahead and actually block him from attacking. There we go. And then I can actually take this gentleman here. He should be still within range to finish this guy off with the head knocker. There we go. That works. A little expensive, but... Oh, and it's right. Sorry. The focus damage also absorbs and mitigates uh, some of the uh, physical damage. My bad. We're going to finish him off now, though. There we go. I feel like, a, I feel like an expert in this game. <laughs> can you tell I like it? I mean, I do. I like the game. I really do. I spent all this time, like, trying to learn how everything functions. Uh, and like so that way I can regurgitate back to you guys. 
Uh, the stream, I enjoyed the shit out of the stream. Let me see. Should I spend the spell point? One point, one point. You know, this fight's over anyway. This is going to just let them go. Do I have to like, come step into the step in the air if they want to rip? Well, that's right. They can attack from back there, I guess. I guess. This guy is uh, still burning. No, he's not burning anymore. Okay, let me see. Does she have the spell ability to do one more? She doesn't technically. I think she could drink something. We can. No, we can. Let's do that. Setting things on fire is just so good. It's just so good. Let's go ahead and take this guy down here. Good. Uh, let me see. He could, he could, can he attack more than that? It's a straight ahead assault. Yeah, okay. Uh, Dragon's Breath. It would cost me a move to get there. He could do Chop. Seven. seven that's, oh, yeah, it's kind of far away, actually. Yeah, I'll do a little swap, but we'll do another Dragon's Breath here. Good. He also has, these are obviously two of the same type of characters, right? Two same classes. They just have different spells assigned. Uh, let me go and actually zap this. Oh, I can't. That's right. It's a straight ahead attack. Uh, everything's straight ahead, actually. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, knock him back. Perfect. That's perfect. 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 And uh, since they're going to move, let's go ahead and take a spell here. Put that there. Right in front of our friend here who's going to give him a wall open. Drop him. Good. There we give him a good thwonk. Look at that. Perfect. And we'll save everything else. Enemy's turn. This guy's gonna burn, maybe? Yes. There he goes. That's the end of that guy. Nope. Oh, we managed to squeeze one off. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, these guys are all dead. Let's just finish him off now. Now we're just toying with them. Now we're just toying with them. There we go. That, that is how you handle bad guys right there now there is one more fight but before we get there I gotta show you guys all the inventory and everything I also gotta remember which way I gotta go let's see I think uh wait did I get turned around did I get turned around here hold on this is the bomb thing I don't have the bomb let me make sure I'm going the right way is this it open Tell me what falls in the I have not been here yet so for the sake of spoilers, we are past this part. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. I, I've not gone through that room, but we have now. Oh, shit. God, these traps. Ah, man. Jerks. What do we have here? Metal scraps. Don't tell me I came all that way for metal scraps. I did. I skipped. I did all that. I edited all that crap out just for metal scraps. You've got to be kidding me. This has got to be a joke, old man. Yes, it was indeed just that room. So let's go ahead and cut to another montage walking around. Let's talk about music for a second. So music is actually pretty good. <laughs> like, it's really good. Uh, it is obviously a lot of Gaelic uh, Irish influence uh, in the uh, the music. Uh, just like you've heard for the in, in the intro. Uh, it is a, um, they have a really great kind of progression uh, way of kind of introducing new layers of the songs while you're in fights. So in the next major fight that you see uh, that I'm going to show you guys here at the end, pay attention to the music. You'll hear how it kind of how the music kind of ramps up and how it kind of gets mute, kind of gets some more more subtle. Uh, it's actually quite quite uh, well designed. It really, really, truly is. All right, here we go. Here we go. This this is a tough boss fight. I did just save though, so if shit happens, I won't lose all this progress and everything that I've done so far in this video. Ah, <sighs> which is nice. Now this big scary guy is gonna sit here and whoop on my ass. Uh, well, I guess he just decided to go right now. He was talking, I guess, initially. He's gonna go for this guy. Now this guy we have to basically protect while he casts this spell. It takes him six turns for this spell to work. We basically just have to keep this dude busy for that long and make sure he doesn't kill him. That's all we gotta do. Easy, easy, super easy, right? Now I've already done this once. I've already done this fight once. So hopefully I could do it just as just as good, if not better, uh, the second time around. So first we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take this drink right here. Gonna give it to you. Gonna lose this action point right there, but he has the ability now to levitate. We're gonna grab him, throw him way over. No, I way. Over, uh, way over here, yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Now these little orbs that he spawns actually give this guy. Uh, I guess it gives him like an extra spell point every t every turn. So it w it would be a good idea 
Uh, if we were to go ahead and, uh, uh, actually, what is he casting? Can I see what he's casting? I can. Uh, let's see. Greater Meditate. Generate three mana. Okay, so he's not, it's not much of a threat. I probably gotta left him alone right there, not use the consumable. Well, that was my fault. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if we can't do something about this thing. Uh, we should probably break his spell though. Break his mana. No targets in range. Does anybody have something in range? She does. She could do it. There you go. That just knocks him off his feet. Meanwhile, go ahead and meditate you. You can do nothing. Uh, my boy over here can drink though. Get him started on that. And also set something on fire. Let's set, uh, let's set, uh, let's set. He's gonna move from there, but at least I'll get him ignited and get him moving here. We don't really have to kill him necessarily, but it's, it'd be kind of nice if we could. Go ahead and give this guy a chop. There we go. We put a shield on anybody? Nah, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Can I taunt this guy over? I don't think this works actually. I know that if I use my taunt on this guy, he's not, it's not going to, uh, yeah, I think so. Um, it's not going to work more than once, so I have to keep that in mind. It's a CC spell. It says actually right over here, uh, resilience, immunities to levitate. Uh, so yeah, you cannot, cannot be affected by the same crowd control ability more than once. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> So let him do his thing over there. Oh, he got the three points anyways. I guess I didn't do enough to break that focus. Hmm. But he does have this thing up as well, so I have to keep an eye on that. Summon mana totem. There's the other mana totem there. Oh, oh two more. Jesus. Oh, this is where he gets hard. Again, we just have to stay alive and keep him alive. He still has how many turns? Uh, six turns right there at the very top of his uh, thing there. Six turns. They should really make this a highlight to stay. So look, look at that. Let's see this again. Rookie mistake. What is this? <laughs> what is this nonsense? All right, we're not gonna break through this guy, but we so we basically keep him sick, kind of pacified for now. We might actually just continue to basically volley this dude around using this, just to keep. Oh, I can't. Never mind. Forgot. 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 Can't do more, the same spell twice. Uh, so let's see if we can't do these things. Uh, right by. Oh, get let me out of see. The way. We could do one. That'll give you significant damage there. Knock him back. Wait, what is the range on this guy? Hold on. Three spots. We'll just go activate it now. There we go. Then we'll do one. That'll cancel that. Should move him over. That's fine. Can he reach anything? Uh, he can actually. Cool. We'll move that out. There we go. Just take out resources from this dude. That's all. Two spell points, one stack of drunk. We're good. Just a little drunk. If you're drunk, seek your intelligence, your strength is doubled for the rest of your turn! <laughs> you vomit anywhere, it's done for one turn. <laughs> I, not, I don't think I've actually had that happen yet. Uh, let me see. I don't want to stun or do anything crazy like that yet. Let me see. I can at least get this thing over there on that, but, uh, eh. Hey, can I taunt it? I can't taunt this dude. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Awesome. So now we could do a little bit of work to this thing. Hmm. This would be a good one. Because that will I spread in both these slots here go let's see don't need levitate don't need any of this stuff uh we probably go and pop this to reduce all my cooldowns because we have a bunch of things on cooldown right now it'll be on the next turn we could always activate that the next turn don't have to spend it now ah so we're going to take a strike woof man that's some damage six damage and three damage and a whole bunch more of these things. You see, you see this, you see this nonsense? It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. All right, let's see. Ah, oh, I can do a cleave for this dude here. He's right, he's perfect for it. Takes out one of these, get the things weak enough so I can actually go ahead and probably take this and just chop him to chop him. Uh, yeah, I can pretty much. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, huh, let me see. Cooldowns, where are we at? I only have one more action point, so nothing really to spend it on right now. Uh, it's good that this guy's fixating on me because this guy's busy, so why don't we go to spend this point and move this over here? There we go. And then we'll levitate something. Oh, we can't levitate these. Never mind. Never mind. Sam's all used to just be able to toss the dudes around. Uh, still not gonna spend my points here. I will take this, though, and put it on here. See that last point. Or maybe we'll stack and get super drunk and see what happens. That was some weirdness, don't know what that was. Weird little, weird little glitches like this happen every once in a while. Oh, he's targeting my, uh, oof, man. 
And then damage to everybody. Oh. And this is with me keeping him uh, at least somewhat suppressed. <laughs> this is him being suppressed. It's ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and torch the ground here. Just a bit longer. Go on. Just a bit longer. No, no, how about right now? There we go. Ready. Let's see. I don't want to taunt yet. On your world. This would be superb. I gotta get her up. And he actually could do it as well. And also I have this. War Strike. 19 physical damage to nearest enemy within range. Electricity arcs to additional nearby enemy. I wonder if I should try that. I've not used this yet. Let's do it. Sure. Let's run fire this away. Woo! Come on, baby. Show me what you got. Oh, whoops. I forgot. It's a channeled ability. So, he's not going to be able to use that. <laughs> it's a channeled ability. I just totally forgot. Uh, huh. Let me see. Why don't we go ahead and position her over here, right in front of this big mean guy? No? No, you don't want to do that? No? Oh, he's bleeding, so. Oh, boy. Let me see. I can give him some juice here in a second. Let's go and set this place on fire. And then what I'll do is I'll give this to him. And he should be at least not quite... Yeah, okay, yeah. He could... Uh, let's do this. Let's check this guy with a spell. We have an action point. Let's go do this. We'll go and reset our spells. Now I have an extra one. I could go and cast that on this guy because he's hurting as well. Basically chain all these things together. Take full advantage of the uh, ability to cast all these spells. Give this guy a shot for fun. Maybe take another sip. There we go. Now all my cooldowns are up. <laughs> I think everything is running at the same time. Let's hope this guy can actually get this point off here. Or this uh, spell off. My little imp. Come on, man. Go smell it. Okay, that's a mental spell right there. Purple. Uh, that was targeting the wrong dudes. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. War strike, baby. Not gonna do a whole lot of damage. This guy has 200 health, but still. He'll scare him. <laughs> here it comes. No. Should do it. We gonna think about it for a minute. Oh, did it happen? No. I'm a little confused. Let's do it as a regular strike. Then. We got it. Oh, I think he's stuck in an animation. Oh man. Crap like this hurts. Crap like it hurts my feelings. It really does because it's like, man, could have just God, God, why can't it just be? Good? Oh yeah, I'm stuck. Well, that's a that's an unfortunate end. If this doesn't trigger, there it goes. There it goes. Man. All right, we're healed. We good? This guy's not healed yet. We're still waiting. We're still waiting on attacks to to happen. Unfortunately, she, however, has the ability to break that. Yeah, we're still waiting for things to catch up. Wow, there's damage all over the place. Heal, and there's that. It's almost like server lag. Isn't that strange? It's so weird. This thing's still going. What the hell? Well, I'll just kill it, I guess. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, this guy's almost can't. Oh, my God. I'm so dumb. I don't... I think I'm being flustered by the, uh... Trying to show you guys cool stuff and then have it just basically not work for stupid reasons. Uh, let's see. What is he channeling here? Generate three mana. Man, we'll go ahead and move over and beat him up for it. Sure, why not? Oh, that was point. I need uh, two points for that. Whoops. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, how do we do this then? No, actually, the other thing I do. Let's go and meditate. We'll just, we'll just see if we can survive one more round. All the spell points. All the spell points. You guys will be casting for days. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is a problem now. Now, he still has his. Um, he just wiped almost the entire party in one shot. I should I should have focused a bit more on these dudes. <laughs> They're all dead. They're all dead. Oh my god. There's nothing I can do. I, I mean I could I could I could hit. I don't have a consumable there. I could eat drink to stay alive. Um, here's what I could do. I'll hit him with the mental damage one. Uh, unfortunately, I can only do it once. Let's see. No 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 no. Well, if she ever takes a shot. So weird. Let me do another one here. She's got one man army this. One woman army. Let's see. 
Uh, charge bolt. They'll get rid of a bunch of people right in front of me. Good, good, good. You get rid of that one, or I could run. Probably smarter just to do this and then meditate. Pray for, pray for better, for more uh, RNG, more better RNG. Thank God I have these fires all over the place. He's doing something. Oh, he's hurting. One more round is all I need, though. I just need one more round. Come on. What are we doing? What are we doing? My turn. All right. I'm going to move up, throw some fire around, and then that's it. Can't use ability after combat has ended. Well, it's my turn. Oh, I'm still waiting for things. Well, you know, I'm kind of glad this is happening because this has never happened to me before. But again, like this goes back to like, there's this weird stuff that just happens. I can't use, I can't use abilities. I don't know what, what, what does it want me to do? Ah, that's right. Okay, so it looks like I did. It did. Wow, it's just, just strangest lag. There we go. Now she's gonna cast spells. <laughs> Look at all my XP though. Man. Alright, so I'm gonna skip all this because um I've already done it and also you guys don't need to see it. There we go. So Oh sure, sure, okay. Okay. And then poof he disappears. I'm imagine gonna steal these uh skills over here that left on the ground. Alright, so this is actually a pretty good wrap up of the entire game, I think, because you get a little bit of a glimpse of everything. It is it, it is a solid uh, I'm sorry, it's not a solid. It is a good, a fun uh, dungeon crawler, I think, traditional. It's not, the, it's, not, it's not like, you know, Crisis 7 level graphics or anything. It look, but it looks good for what I would expect from a dungeon crawler. Um, I need it to basically look as good or better than Grimrock, pretty much. That's pretty much where my bar is right there. Uh, so without going forward because there's spoilers up ahead. Uh, yeah, we're gonna wrap it here. So this is my fairly in-depth look, I think, of uh, of Bard's Tale for um, for non-indie games or games that require a bit more depth, I feel like we could definitely do this going forward. Uh, so that's what I will do. At the turn of the new year, I'll figure out what to do with it. I'm thinking of dropping the indie part of Indie for Breakfast and just saying for breakfast. That way we can have uh, all of the uh, uh, all of the different games from various publishers and all that stuff all included under one label. Why separate the indies? Why do that? We'll do this after the new year as like a rebrand to do all that shit over the, over the uh, winter break. But, wrapping up Bard's Tale 4, uh, it is, I do enjoy it, despite all the weird quirks and everything, I just feel like, oh, every game is like this, that's what it feels like lately. Uh, they do need to be fixed. It is pretty pathetic, some of these bugs that have gotten through, uh, but, but, the overall game is still good. You guys haven't even seen the town stuff. Uh, the town, like, walking through the town is, uh, is also like quite lively. There's a lot of there's singing, there's people talking, there's lots to interact with. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff you could do. Um, there's issues there as well in terms of like how you interact with people and what kind of results you get from them and what kind of things they say or, or basically what people you can interact with. Like there's a lot of like uh, uh, there's a lot of things associated with that, but it's good because there's depth. Uh, but yeah, without leaving this room here and giving you guys any more spoilers, which you haven't really gotten any so far, uh, we're going to go and cut this off. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike B. The game is called Bart's Tale 4. You can pick it up from Steam for, I believe, $34.99. So not quite AAA, not quite indie, kind of a happy medium right there. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys later.